Hello everybody. So today's class is on types of pollination found in a flower. Major six parts of flower are calyx, corolla, and mesium gynecium, thalamus, and pedicel. And based on this, the previous classes notes, we know how anther pollen grains go to the stigma and the pollination and fertilization occur. The transfer of pollen grains from one stigma to the anther is called pollination, and the pollination occurs with the help of pollinating agents. And as you remember, there are two types of pollinating agents, biotic and abiotic. The abiotic means the non-living things like wind water and the biotic component means the living things like animals and birds and etc. So this is an example of such, the living component. Now, self-pollination, which is a, a type of pollination where the pollination occurs in the same plant, in the same flower itself. Now look at the bee. It actually moves around and comes back to the same flower. It goes to another place, then goes to another place and back to the flower where the pollination occurs. Meaning it's in the same plant, same flower. Cell pollination can also be said if the flowers of the same plant are pollinated. Meaning the bee from one flower moves to another flower of the same plant. So essentially it is self. Now, if it is between two different plants and two different flowers, meaning that a flower from one plant is pollinating another with the help of a bee, pollinating agent, that's bee. So different pollination, that is a cross pollination. Now look at this, as you can see a human is interacting between two flowers and pollinating them. And we have a name for those. And those are called the artificial pollination. The pollination done by humans mainly for the use of crops. Such pollination are called artificial pollination. So there are different types. The biotic, uh, biotic component and abiotic component. The artificial pollination, cross pollination, self pollination. These are the major things that you have to remember in this topic. Those are the different types of pollination. And always remember, there are always things that you find in the nature itself. So keep on looking and you might find things at unexpected places, maybe even your own home. That's it for today. Thanks.